Roller coasters are so unsafe, especially if they're wooden. They can easily get stuck upside down and some roller coasters even fly off the track. Some coasters even make you fly out of your seat, like who wants to die like that? Roller coasters are way better with shoulder harnesses. Roller coasters are very safe. Wooden and steel coasters are awesome and shuttle coasters are only okay. Roller coasters are much, much better with lap bars so that you can experience that awesome maritime. Did you notice the differences? I will talk about the most common misconceptions about roller coasters in this video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A quick little disclaimer, this video isn't meant to rant about the general public and to make people think their opinions are wrong. This video is me explaining about common misconceptions and giving you a better idea of how roller coasters work. I'll be talking about 8 misconceptions, but let's waste no time and talk about the first one, roller coasters getting stuck on lift hills. The media and the news go wild when a roller coaster gets stuck on a lift hill, but the reality is that this happens all the time. I myself have never ridden a lot of coasters, but I got stuck for a small amount of time when I rode one coaster. The general public underestimate how common this is. Getting stuck on lift hills happens due to computer-based issues, faulty parts, or even if the ride operator accidentally hits the stop button. Since roller coasters are equipped with hundreds of sensors and the computers use what is called a block system, you would only get stuck in two main places, the lift hill and the final brake run. If you get stuck in these two places, you would either wait for the ride to move or get an evac. If an evac happens, the ride operator safely unloads the passengers down a catwalk. I don't know about you, but it would be cool if I got evac'd off a ride. Let's move on to number two, roller coasters getting stuck upside down. Now I do not have to explain this one because I previously made a whole video about this topic. I'll put it up in a card right there. Number three, wooden coasters equals dangerous. When you first look at, let's say, a dated wooden coaster, you might think that the structure is not very stable. You might think, what if it snaps? Well, wood is stronger than you think. The structures are well designed to withstand the train's forces. And if you look at it from a logical standpoint, a wooden coaster wouldn't even operate if its structure has potential to break. If a park wants to make a lot of money, why would they open a roller coaster that could fall apart? That wouldn't get the park the money that they're expecting. Roller coasters are inspected and tested daily to make sure your experience is awesome. Number four, over the shoulder restraints are more safe than lap bars. I guess people think that having over the shoulder restraints makes a ride feel safer because more of your body is protected. I see people freak out that a ride goes upside down with just a lap bar, but really over the shoulder restraints are just as safe as lap bars. Both restraints securely lock guests and a lot of rides have a seatbelt. It does make you feel safer, but they don't actually act as a safety restraint. They are used to show if a guest is too large to ride. So if your seatbelt gets unbuckled on the ride, you're still safe. Most coaster fans prefer lap bars to over the shoulder restraints because they give you more freedom and allow you to experience airtime or the sensation where you fly out of your seat at its full potential. Over shoulder restraints on the other hand can cause discomfort such as headbanging on rides that aren't very smooth. Why did my phone have to ring? Reddit. Number 5. Shuttle coasters flying off the track. Shuttle coasters or coasters that can go forward and backward may look like the train could fly off because the track just ends. It may seem like that would happen but coasters these days are very well designed so that a case like that would never happen. And just like what I said earlier, a coaster wouldn't even operate if it could potentially fly off the track. Number 6. Airtime isn't safe. For coaster fans, airtime is the most exciting part of a roller coaster, but for the general public, some of them think they are risking their death. Roller coaster lap bars and roller coasters in general are designed to make sure there is no risk of you flying out of your seat. For coasters that have stronger airtime, the restraints are more safe, but there are some lap bars that don't even touch you. These lap bars, called buzz bars, allow you to have the ultimate freedom for airtime, but don't feel intimidated because the airtime on roller coasters with buzz bars are not so strong, and you still won't fly out of your seat. As long as you're healthy and you securely pulled your restraint down, you shouldn't think you would fly out of your seat on airtime hills. Number seven, the frequency of accidents. Lastly, most of the general public think that roller coasters are not safe and accidents can happen very frequently. But according to studies, that's not true. 
I feel like I keep on saying this in every video like this, but I'll try for the last time. According to the International Association of Amusement Parks, the chances of you getting injured at an amusement park are 1 in 24 million, and the chances of you dying at an amusement park are 1 in 750 million. That's a pretty big number if you ask me. So the chances are very low, and if an accident happens, most of the time it is not the roller coaster's fault. It is mostly the park's fault. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, then please leave a like. I really appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments which one of these was the most helpful for you. And if you're new here and roller coasters are what you're into, then please consider subscribing for content all about roller coasters. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.